Hey everyone and welcome back to Serena's Toy Room. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the 2001 reproduction of Malibu Barbie. Now obviously she is not brand new in box, as you can tell. She has been opened and I wasn't going to do a review of her originally, but I decided why not? It would be fun. So yeah, I got a really good deal on this doll because she is opened and it doesn't matter whether or not it's opened because I'm going to open it anyways. And I really wanted like a nice Malibu Barbie for a while. I have an original Malibu Barbie. She doesn't have her outfit. It's just like the doll. And she was Mrs. Voorhees in my Friday the 13th video. She is really rough. She has like green ear. Her hair is like really wiry because they use like a different hair texture back in the day. This doll's hair is like modern day saran. It's really nice. But that one had like the weird wiry hair that no one really knows the name of. That's the thing about reproductions. I kind of like having them more than the originals. You can kind of like play around with them a little bit more and you don't have to be as careful. Whereas if you have like an original, say, like bubble cut Barbie or something like that, you really want to be delicate with her because they're old and they're valuable and stuff like that. So I'd rather have a reproduction, honestly. And they're honestly kind of like better made and prettier in some cases than the originals. So I don't mind it at all. Barbie collectibles. And the box has all these cool like little waves. It's very early 2000s, which is fun. And there's a picture of Malibu Barbie. She's so cute. Malibu Barbie doll with twist and turn waist. With groovy sunglasses and a happening bathing suit, Malibu Barbie doll was the quintessential California girl. Her twist and turn waist and bendable legs kept her moving and grooving. Now you can discover the fun all over again with our authentic recreation. Collector edition Malibu Barbie doll. So yeah. Let's reopen this doll and get a closer look. Here is the lovely Malibu Barbie. She's so cute. So she has that beautiful early 70s Barbie face with the Malibu tan. This is also the first time when Barbie was facing forwards. All her previous dolls were facing sideways. Traditional blue eyes with some teal eyeshadow and peachy lips, which is a very early 70s makeup look. With the 70s, there was a big shift to a more beachy and natural vibe at least in the early 70s. Later on, when disco was a thing, that's when things started to become a little bit more glamorous again. She has this honey blonde hair, which is saran. It's really soft. Here's a comparison of the reproduction and an original Malibu Barbie. As you can see, the hair looks drastically different even through the camera. So this is traditional saran as we know it today. And this is like the weird hair quality they used back in the day. It's very wiry and not very nice. It's kind of coarse. So yeah, as you can see, my Malibu Barbie is kind of rough. She has a lot of flyaways and broken hairs and green ear for some reason. I still love and appreciate her though, just for being an original, but the reproduction is obviously more mint looking. She has her cute little purple circle lens glasses, which are in a translucent plastic, which look really cute. Her iconic baby blue swimsuit, one piece. Super adorable. She has like an open back kind of design. This doll, because she is more of a collector doll, she has a genuine Barbie tag. Mine was kind of like broken, and so I had to like tape it because I wanted to keep it on, but it's not so bad. Her towel is so well made. It feels like a real towel. It's not like some dinky little piece of fabric that a lot of modern beach dolls have. It's like really thick and well made. It feels like a real towel just shrunken down. And it's yellow and has like these little fringes on both ends. It's so well done. No shoes on this doll because she is a beach doll, obviously. But she does come with a little bottle of Malibu Sun SPF 30 sunscreen, which is really cute. Always wear your sunscreen when you're going to be out in the sun to protect your skin. She also comes with a clear collector doll stand, certificate of authenticity, and a two-year warranty, which is obviously over. And then the cute little keepsake box, which isn't like an authentic original looking one. It's more modern. Well, modern as 2001 standards go. But yeah, has a really cute picture of Malibu Barbie, authentic 1971 reproduction. And then it has the same saying on the back of the box, on the back. As the box says, she has a twist and turn waist, which was invented only a couple years before the doll's original release. And this specific twist and turn waist isn't like we know with like 80s and 90s kind of bodies. It goes kind of like upwards, like it's kind of like on an angle. It's not like the usual one that we're used to with 80s and 90s bodies. So that's kind of interesting. Kind of looks like she's posing a little bit more. I guess that makes sense because Barbie back in the day was advertised as a teenage fashion model. 
so to have her body in kind of like a specific pose would kind of make sense. The same with her head, rather than just going a traditional sideways, it goes kind of on an angle. It's kind of cool. And her fingers are kind of spread apart as so, unlike later on when they would be all together like this. I kind of prefer this because it looks more dainty and realistic, I suppose. But I feel like they switched to this to make dressing the dolls a little bit more easier so they don't get caught on the fingers as easily. So I can understand that, but aesthetic-wise, I think this is a lot nicer. And of course, she has bend and snap legs, which is pretty standard, nothing new there. All right, if you want, tell me in the comments what you think of this beautiful Malibu Barbie. She's the sunset. Until next time, come and read, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye, guys!